It's Confident Computing number 823. Should I get rid of Gmail tabs? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here with another weekly edition of the Ask Leo newsletter, Confident Computing. This week's featured article, you know, I live in Gmail, I just do. I manage all of my email through Gmail. That includes all of my Ask Leo email, my personal email, my business email, everything. I'm basically sitting in the gmail.com web interface all day long. One of the things they introduced some time ago was this concept of a categorized inbox where they will try and basically bucket your email into categories that they somehow figure out what your email is supposed to fall into. Sadly, as good as they are at spam filtering, it never worked for me. Categorized inbox never worked for me. And it's a priority for me that every time I set up a Gmail account, one of the first things I do is turn that feature off. This week's featured article does exactly that. We also touch once again on exactly how Outlook and Outlook.com relate. Once again, thanks Microsoft for making the world more confusing than it needs to be because ultimately they don't. My shift key is stuck. You know, this is one of those articles that I write not because I was asked a question necessarily, but because I encountered a situation myself. Yep, in frustration, I did some things to my keyboard and my keyboard's shift key was stuck. Turns out it's a software thing, not necessarily a broken keyboard. Speaking of software versus hardware, no signal is a message you occasionally will get on your monitor when it's not connected. A lot of people have it confused with a message coming from their computer, but of course it's not from the computer at all. In fact, its very presence means the computer can't talk to the monitor or isn't talking to the monitor somehow. No signal, what it means and what to check. We'll go over some of the things to check for, things to look at to resolve the issue. On YouTube this week, a bunch of videos. Microsoft Office is free in Windows 10. Heck, honestly, it's free in every edition of Windows and Mac and Linux. And that's because of course, it's the online version that's free. Free Microsoft Office in Windows 10, sort of, discusses exactly what's available and why you might not need to actually purchase Microsoft Office. Do I need all these Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables? I'll give this one away. We don't know, so you shouldn't delete any. Can I delete the setup files that I've downloaded? Well, the answer here is actually even clearer. You can, but you may want to save them first. How to avoid ransomware. This is a, a topic that people feel very passionate about. And it's one of those things that, you know, if you're already doing security right for any reason, there's a good chance you're already protecting yourself from ransomware. This video discusses exactly what that means. In that same vein, how do I bypass keyloggers? Once again, Keyloggers like ransomware aren't really all that special except in what they do once they get on your machine. As you can imagine, the quote unquote right approach is to not let them get on your machine in the first place. In this week's TEH podcast, Gary and I talk about something that is near and dear to both of us. It's called the XY problem. And ultimately what it boils down to is it's a statement of the problem we see every time somebody asks us a technical question. There are a lot of fascinating issues around it, and we discuss not only the nature of the XY problem, but we start talking a little bit about some of the things that we can do to try and reduce the problem, and of course, some of the things that you absolutely can do to eliminate the problem. That's this week on the TEH podcast, the XY problem, asking good questions, a big glitch, and virtual psychotherapy. The big glitch, by the way, was that my computer crashed halfway through the recording. I mentioned last week that uh, I'm actually hosting an online fundraiser this last weekend. I am recording this the morning before the fundraiser, so I actually don't know how it went. However, because this gets published after the fundraiser, I'm more than happy to include a link to 20 minutes of Corgi Puppies. That's it for this week. That's Confident Computing number 824. How do I get rid of Gmail tabs? Thanks, as always, for being here. I hope you find it helpful. I hope you find these articles useful. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I will see you here again next week. Take care.